Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel, Legacy of the Creed here. I have seen that most of you guys that follow my videos are having some trouble with properly launching the definitive parkour mod. So I have decided to make a tutorial, a technical tutorial about, about how to launch the definitive parkour mod and make it work with your game. Uh, please note that this tutorial will not be covering the parkour features of this amazing mod, but I'll be focusing mainly on how to install and launch the mod. So the first thing that you need to do is deactivate your antivirus if you're installing Cheat Engine for the first time. Why? Because Cheat, if you let it, the antivirus to work, it will it will interfere with the Cheat Engine. So you make sure you, for the only for the first time, to turn off the firewall and the antivirus. Okay, next we're going to download Cheat Engine. Here uh, it says that you need these two files. Well, Eagle Patch AC2 is not necessary for the definitive parkour mod, but it will make the game, uh, makes a, a few tricks. But it, the definitive parkour mod can work properly without the Eagle Patch. But here's the cheat engine. We're going to download the cheat engine. And yeah, there is downloading. Next, I'm going to download all the files that I'll be covering and that you need for the definitive parkour mod to work. So you need to go to the definitive AC2 parkour mod in the Nexus, and we're going to download the keybinds because I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. If you're using not an Xbox, uh, the keyboard and the mouse, you will have to download this. So we're going to go to download the, the keybinds, the controller binds, sorry. Uh, we're gonna wait. And there it is, it downloaded. And we're going to go to the the other versions of the Definitive Parkour mode that work with Revelations and Brotherhood. Uh, Revelation Brotherhood is the same. You don't necessarily need to need to need to do any extra step. It will be also the same uh, process you will that you made for AC2. But for revelations, you have to load an extra file because since the new update of the AC Revelations game do not work with the latest update of the Infinity Parkour mod. So here I'll be downloading the controller binds for the AC Brotherhood. We're going to wait. And okay, it downloaded, then we're going to back and go to the definitive AC no sorry 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 I made a mistake AC revelations here and we're going to go to the files and we're going to download the controller binds so until now we have three files now we have the controller binds downloaded and this one that is very important why because the latest update of the AC Revelations is not go. It doesn't work with the Definitive Parkour mod latest update. It it will crash the game if you try to run the mod. So you need to download the extra file. Okay, we have everything downloaded. We just need to wait. Uh, now we're going to now install our cheat engine. Okay, we select a language. And there it is, welcome to Cheat Engine Installer. Accept, accept. And now we're going to wait to for it to install. Meanwhile, the all compatible access have to download too. Launch applications now is not necessary. So yeah, we now have the cheat engine installed here. And I'm just going to wait patiently for the AC revelations, uh, the all compatible access to download. Uh, it's gonna take a while. So yeah, now what we're going to do is we're going to extract the, extract the, the files. 
Okay, so there is this. Okay, and everything is extracted. So yeah, these all of these files, uh, sorry, these files are the ones that you need together with this one that is still downloading and it will take a while. Well, it takes only 30 seconds. Now it's gonna take a while, but there are four files that you need. So, okay, now that you have extracted the files and everything, we're gonna go to Ubisoft Connect, and first we're going to launch Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, let's wait for it. And that's it, you have launched the game. Okay, so we're gonna load the same file. And after loading the save file, we're gonna close the tab. Close the tab and we're going to go to the files we downloaded, the AC2 parkour mode controller, and we're just gonna double click. He's gonna do this, we say yes. And then he says, Execute this dual script and yes. Now we do not want to try out the tutorial. Okay, so now we have the mod open. The only thing that you have to do is click in enable mod. And in case you want to use the green code features that are the swing up, ball landing for, and super hop. That for me is very important. I mean, it's kind of challenging to use these features in a realistic form and to not feel like weird because they are like they are like many kind of volatile. But for me, it's important because it adds so much to the gameplay. So to activate the green code features, you're gonna uh, right click and set change hotkeys, and you're gonna click here. All of this. And yeah, now the super hop is enabled. Please note that you do not have to tick all the box. You only have to do this to enable the code features. And next, if in and it's the same for the other code features. Okay, so I'm gonna do it for you guys for you to watch that you can activate everything. Okay, it's gonna take me a little while. Well, I mostly like all of the features. I it adds so much to the gameplay. A lot of variety. The land soft too. And yeah, that's basically how you enable all the green code features. You do not have to tickle the box. Don't tickle the box. Because that way the game will recognize that you are only allowing the green code features in, uh, still to like to be always activated and to replace the other features that will make the game crash. So yeah, now the mod is enabled along with the green code features, and we go back to the AC2 file. And the way you're gonna uh, enable the mod is to give RS to push the button RS. And there. Uh, that's it. The mod is enabled. Uh, let me check the green color features. So yeah, there you have the Yeah, there it is. It's working fine. If the mod is working. And that's it. 
that's how the mod works in AC2. So I'm going to show you guys for the AC Brotherhood now. So we're going to close the game and we're going to close the mod. And it's exactly the same. They all, they, it's exactly the same process for the AC Brotherhood. You just launch the game. There it is. It's working. And you launch the save file. You wait till the save file is launches. And we're gonna close the file. And we're gonna go to our downloaded files. AC Brotherhood Parkour Mode Controller and do exactly the same thing we did for the AC2. Here is the window, you say yes, and you enable the mod by ticking here. And it's the same for the green code features, it's exactly the same process. Uh, I do not like like enabling the the swing eject app feature because you already have the manual horse flip that is exactly the same and it's almost the same in the mechanics by enabling manual horse flip you enable the the uh, sorry for this you have to ignore this and it's the same yeah you have to tick all of these boxes to allow the features the green coded features that are really cool and fun to use And yeah, it's that easy. Uh, I'm not going to enable all of them because to save time, but yeah, we have all of them enabled and we're going to go back to our game. Let's just, let's just get rid of this. Okay, so the same, you enable the mod by pressing the RS button there it is. It's working. <laughs> you have now enabled the mod and it's working properly. It's not anything complicated. I mean, it's kind of confusing because there are like not many instructions, but still, it's pretty pretty easy and straightforward. So yeah, that's it. You have enabled the mod, and now I'm going to show you for revelations to finish this tutorial. We're gonna exit to Windows, and yeah, uh, for revelations you have to do an extra, uh, an extra step, and you only have to extract this all compatible. And you're going to replace this file with the executable file in your in the the in the file you install the game. We're going to go to where you install the game, and you're going to replace. You're going to replace that file to enable the mod to work with your game. So yeah, that's the extra step. We're going to launch Revelations to test, test the mod.
You're going to launch the save file. We're going to wait for the save file to to to, to launch, and you're going to close the tab. And we're going back to our downloaded files, AC Revelations Parkour, and we're going to enable. Yeah, it's exactly the same for the three games and for the Altari game. There is not there is no difference. Only that for the Revelations game, you have to uh, is you have to replace the executable file with the file you downloaded because the latest update in the Revelations game will not work with the with the with with the latest update of the Definitive Parkour mode. So yeah, that's it. I'm just going to let you see that it works, that the mod is working. So just be patient with me. I'm just doing it this this slowly to just to clarify everything and you have everything clear. And it's pretty straightforward. I mean it's only it's the same for the three games. You only have to enable this to use the green code features but also if you do not want to use the green code features you will only have to tickle the boss enable mode and it will work perfectly so yeah uh, let me just have patience on me please <laughs> and we're going back to the game and we enable the mode there is enable the mod is enabled. Let me just show you the 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 the, 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 the how do you say the the manual course uh, feature to let you to, so that you can see that it works. So yeah, it works. There you see that the, there is the manual course. Feature. So that's it. That's everything you need to know for the mod to work. And yeah, it's working right now. So please, if you like the video, you can subscribe to my channel for more content. I will be very, I will appreciate it a lot and yeah, I hope this this tutorial clarifies everything everything that you need for the, the mods to work in the game. There is only one last step that we have to do. And of course we have to get rid of all the unnecessary unnecessary apps that come downloaded, like the Opera browser that it downloads with most of these type of apps. So yeah, I'm just going to uninstall this annoying app, uh, this annoying application. And yeah, that's it. I hope you understood the tutorial. Uh, if you have any question, please, you can ask them in the comment section below. Uh, I hope you do not have too much trouble with my my English, uh, uh, my, my English accentuation, but yeah, I hope the mod works. I hope this tutorial works because the mod it's one of the best features that could ever come in an AC game and it's so beautiful. So I hope you have a good time. Uh, thank you very much.